I don't know why I started the recording. I haven't even grabbed my chair yet. Hello, welcome to this again, where today I'm going to be doing something somewhat similar to my dual booting video, which you can watch up here, where I will be installing many versions of Windows. But this time, I will be upgrading through every single major release of Windows NT. That means NT3, 4, XP, Vista, 7, 8, 8.1, 10, 11, yeah. But first, let's unbox this brand new stack of blank CDs. In. Sure, I'm gonna get a whole lot of use out of this. All right, with that out of the way, let's get installing. I have Windows NT3 on this CD. This will be the oldest OS that I've installed on this thing so far. Should automatically boot up the CD. Oh, Did, is that a blue screen? I don't know. Did Windows NT not- oh. Okay. I was about to say, did it just blue screen? <laughs> Alright, now we have 200 gigabytes of unpartitioned space. We're gonna do it with NTFS. It's too large! Okay. Luckily, Windows 2000 is the only OS that I have to install via CD, because CD is slow. Device too hot, video quality may be reduced, what? Oh yeah, you're right. It is way too hot. You know, this video was being recorded in 4K, but now I'm moving to 1080p. 1080p, here we go. I only chose it to be 100 gigabytes because, oh my god, this thing would take ages if I went any higher. It's still gonna take ages because there's no quick format in Windows 2000. That took fucking ages. Well, we're copying files now. Alright, and here comes my least favorite part of every single Windows install. Yes! Oh! I sat down in my chair, and the chair kept rolling. Alright. No, but okay. Hey, Resolution's a bit small. I'll keep it that way. It's easy to see on camera. Alright, no time to waste. Let's move on to Windows XP. Alright, I now have Windows XP upgrade media. Except, uh, I wasn't thinking when I made it, and I... I burnt it onto a CD for some reason. <laughs> oh, yep, it's, it's... It's a new thing, it's just... Oh, man. <laughs> Give it a shot. That's a lot of colors right there. Actually, before we do that, I gotta make some modifications to this so that... See if they transfer over. I am currently running Windows 2000. Yeah, this seems good. This, this seems really good. Alright, now we can continue with the Windows XP installation. This looks even worse now. You can't skip it in the upgrade copy. An exciting new look, it sure doesn't look like it right now. 51 minutes? That's way more than the, than, than the normal time. That's like double. It's like 20 minutes more. It's restarting the computer now already. Windows. No XP, just Windows. Well, it's still in 16 colors. Alright, the computer is restarted and is now reporting as Windows XP Professional. Seems we have successfully upgraded this PC to Windows XP Professional. Never mind, we are still in the setup. <laughs> this is hopefully the last time that it has to restart. Now 
this is Windows XP Professional, which means I'm pretty sure it doesn't have the music anyway, so... Not missing out on much, but I am putting it in, in post. Heck yeah! Our wallpaper is still here, except you know, you can actually see it. <laughs> why is why is it so tall? I gotta I gotta I gotta unlock the taskbar, move it. De uh, huh? Okay, that's very strange. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it like that, I guess. We're gonna set it to silver because silver looks cool. No, my background. Better still be there. Still has the Windows 2. Sure, we'll keep the. We'll see how long we can keep the Windows 2000 wallpaper here. I am now running Windows XP. Wow. All right. Now one thing I really want to do. I want to bring pinball all the way over. So I gotta. I gotta bring it to the desktop. We got some more upgrades to do, and I'll be back with Windows Vista. Uh, so I got distracted and now it's like five hours later. Anyway, we have Windows Vista on a USB stick. Do it. Oh man, <laughs> it's running fast. Oh, I don't have Windows XP. <laughs> I don't have Windows XP SP2. Oh, be right back. I'll put it down with that. Oh. All right, I got the driver here. Anyway, here's Service Pack 2 or 3 on a USB stick. I genuinely do not remember. Let's hope the Service Pack 2 installer doesn't require Service Pack 2. I didn't even double click on it, I just clicked on it and it just, what? Service Pack, sure. Why would you want to uninstall Service Pack 2? It's Service Pack 2. It's a good thing. Heck yeah. I need a restart. Let's hope that doesn't break something. Don't restart now. What if I just try to... <laughs> What if I just try to upgrade to Windows Vista now? Oh, I still need Windows. Still need SP2. Yeah, let me just. Oh no! Oh oh! What is it doing? What? Huh? Thank you for installing Windows XP Service Pack 2. Why did it? Why did it bring me back to the out of box experience? Did this just always happen when you installed a new server? Oh! Thanks. I really appreciate that. Can I install Windows Vista now? Yes! I can upgrade! Do it! Do it, please! No! Oh wait, it's just, mm, it's just that we don't have graphics drivers. Okay. Heck yeah! Started, we have a loading bar, and in my opinion, always looked incredibly out of place. It's upgrading Windows, not just installing it. It's upgrading it. Well, maybe not upgrading. This is Windows Vista. Finally! Jeez! It's doing everything. I don't need control pad. Okay, it's, it's trying to do it.
do a lot of things. Alright, so it seems to have removed most of the Windows XP and 2000 icons. All of them, actually. Windows Defender was in Vista? That's when it started? What? After many hours, I am now running Windows Vista. Not for now. I feel about it. Is pinball still playable? We have audio drivers now! We have audio drivers now! Yeah! Hold on. It is somehow running pinball poorly. I didn't know this was possible. I didn't know it was possible to run pinball poorly. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I now have Windows 7 on a USB stick. I would show it to you, but it's already plugged into the computer. It'll hopefully let me upgrade to Windows 7 Ultimate. Oh, then I have to spend another few hours downloading Windows 7 ultimate 32-bit Alright, new USB This should be Windows 7 ultimate which hopefully should let me you know Yeah, oh not again <laughs> Might take an hour or more uh... I thought it was finished. Ah! Finally, we're at the desktop. Those all seem fine. All right, finally upgrading to Windows 7. It's getting close. It's getting quite close. All right, we're restarting one more time. Hopefully for the last time of this Windows 7 install. Alright, so I left the computer for about seven hours because I was going to do stuff. And it has shut itself down, so I'm just going to turn it back on and hope it didn't fry itself somehow. Oh! It, did, it didn't turn itself off, it just went to very deep sleep. Can I just skip it? Thank you. Final step, Windows is finalizing your settings. Oh hey, I kept my widgets from Windows Vista. <laughs> Alright, first thing we're gonna do, first off we have Arrow and it looks quite nice. First thing we're gonna do, we don't want this icky default background, we want Windows 2000. <laughs> we can still report a Windows XP Service Pack 2 bug. Never mind. Yippee! Can you tell I like Windows 7? And it shouldn't run like crap this time. Yeah, it's actually running at a decent frame rate. Oh! Why is Windows 8 the only version of Windows after Windows 2000 where I actually have to put in a product key to update? Ah, hold on. Alright, cool. Well, this isn't good. So, the computer's stuck on this black screen, 
And I was stuck on this black screen earlier, so, and it was like that for like 10 minutes. So I forced shut it down, and then turned it back on, and it, uh, you know, tried booting up, and then it said, attempting to repair installation, or attempting to repair setup, or attempting to repair installation. And then it restarted very, very shortly after, and now we're back to this. So, I'm gonna leave it here for maybe like half an hour. And if that doesn't do anything, then I'll come back to it tomorrow. Alright, this has been sitting for oh, an hour and a half. Still on. Spinning away. If you can hear that. It's not doing anything. I'll, I'll try to troubleshoot this tomorrow, but yeah, I'm just gonna... Alright, it's the morning again. Not quite sure how I'm gonna troubleshoot this, but I'm just gonna start with the easiest option, and that's just boot the, the Windows 8 USB, and then just select the repair your PC option. Repair my PC, please. Use another operating system, mm hmm? Okay, so there's, alright, so we have a boot menu here. We have Windows 7, which is somehow still there, 8.1, and then Windows Setup. I'm gonna try Windows Setup, because that's what I'm guessing it's trying to use. Oh. Okay, then. Thanks. Appreciate that. Alright, so I have Windows 10 on this USB, and hopefully I'm able to upgrade to it. It should be possible, because, you know, Microsoft did that free upgrade to Windows 10 when it came out. And actually, you know, forced some people to upgrade it. That wasn't fun. Alright, so it seems something is blocking us from upgrading any further than Windows 7. Because, tried Windows 8.1, tried Windows 10, it got to the first few stages of upgrading, then just threw me back to Windows 7. So, I think, unfortunately, that's where I'm gonna have to end it here. Because I don't really want to go through... Uh, doing a fresh install of 8 and then upgrading to 10 because that would just take really long and I'm running out of time for this video. Yep, we couldn't install Windows 10. Oh, we actually have a reason this time. The installation failed in the safe OS phase with an error during apply image operation. Well, uh, if any of you know what that means, comment it, please. That's where I'm going to have to end this video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And with that, I will be seeing you.